Hello, this is Sam from Halftone Prints. Um, today I wanted to give my review to a guy that sells some really, really nice platens off Digit Smith. I'll have his link in the description. I own, just got the new Anatol 8x8 Thunder and it has M and M, or M and R, not confused by the wrapper, um, palettes. So, um, I was kind of in a pinch this week. I had somebody, I haven't had anybody ask for sleeves or youth yet. And lo and behold, I get my first customer. I've been kind of playing it off getting these because I'm kind of broke. I mean, I mean, I'm not broke, broke, but like I'm trying to save my money for some other stuff that it, it, it eh, eh, whatever, but uh, that's a different story. Um, I went on Action Engineering and the sleeve platen that they have on there is one, it ranges from like 130 to, I think, I think the tapered one's like 172 or 180. And this guy up in uh, Janesville, Wisconsin, I'm from Northern Illinois, and I was in a pinch. Um, I ended up calling him from Digit Smith and, you know, I'd give him a shot. So I ordered one of each, Youth and the Sleeve Platin, 5x22, then the 10x22. Um, real nice guy. I paid with him PayPal. He actually shipped these to me. I was going to go up there and grab them from him because I, I'm on a deadline. So <laughs> um, I took his word for it. It only took a day shipping, whatever. But, um, so here's a little things, including the price is cheaper. These are $95 a piece. And they are, in my opinion, a little bit nicer than Action Engineering. They actually have the rail that goes the full length of the sleeve platen. Um, I looked on Action Engineering. I think, yeah, that's who it is. But, um, they got about six or eight, eh, probably about six inches away from this. It's sitting way back here. So you're gonna get print deflection and stuff like that. So I'm like, yeah, well, fuck it. We'll give this guy a shot. So um, really nice. I don't know if he has a jig and cuts it out with like a bandsaw or something along those lines. I'm taking it. He gets the rails from Action Engineering because you can get these separate. Um, does a really nice job on the finishing work, rounds off all the edges so there's no sharp corners or anything like that to cut your shirt. Um, even on these ends, like the ones I got from Anatol are straight off and I pulled the shirt off there not too long ago and it put a hole in it. So I fixed that problem with a grinder. So um, it leaves nice, you know, the rubber on top of it. Um, I don't know how he actually adheres these that's not welded or anything. So I'm taking it, he either uses 3M um, adhesive or like a two-part epoxy and puts it in like a press or something. So um, really nice. I like these for 95 bucks, you can't really beat them. 130, 170 on Action Engineering, depending on which ones you want. So there's that. Um, I just looked up the youth because I couldn't remember how much I wanted. But like I said, Another good finishing job. I'm gonna end up getting enough to fill all the spots on my press. I have an eight by eight, so um, really nice finishing work, dude. I'll give it to you, 10 out of 10. Um, does a really nice job, so. Uh, and like I said, I think this one was 110 from him, and I think he charged me like 10 or 15 bucks shipping. It was, che it was cheap, it was like 200 and, 200, bucks I think or something like that for both of these shipped so I mean yeah, that's all right. yeah, it was around like the 200 region it might have been plus or minus I can't remember right off but yeah um I'm super stoked I got some sleeves can't wait to try them out um I will be ordering seven more of the youth and um sleeve platen I do believe I seen on there that he does have um, the onesie or like, not the youth, um, I'm trying to think, infant, 
sizes and stuff like that for that. And uh, I think he's got like a couple koozie ones. And he also has a 4x22 instead of the 5x22. I just chose the bigger one. Like, give me a little bit more room for air. So, um, other than that, I like them. They're nice and cheap, but they're well made. I am a diesel mechanic. Um, by trade, by day job, this is my side gig, and I will say, you know, he did a really nice job on those. I can't can't stress that enough. Like they're super heavy duty. The mount goes all the way to the end of both pallets or platens, sorry. So that's gonna help with your print deflection and stuff like that, giving that a little extra bracing instead of just having a little bitty mount on there. And I think with that two-part epoxy, if you had a little mount on there, and let's say you're pushing on the front of it, it's going to eventually part off, pop off one of these days. So, um, yeah, give them a shout. I'm going to put the uh, link in the description for um, his contact information and stuff down at the bottom. So get a hold of him if you need M&R style. I do believe he has uh, oh, maybe, maybe Vastex. God damn I look yellow in this. I this is actually stuck to my my door, so the sun shines through it, and it looks like I have cirrhosis of the liver. So, um, guys, stay cool. Peace.